I'm Paul Eddy from Paul Eddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Today I'm trying something I'm never prepared, and that's Colby, Korean barbecue short ribs. Colby's made from beef short ribs. Now the ribs are usually butterflied so that it's long and thin, and then it's marinated in a marinade from two to 24 hours, and then it's seared on the grill. Now, Kalbi is the most popular outdoor dish in most Korean homes. Now, if you live near an Asian market, then you probably have a version of short ribs there that are cut thin across the bone. And with these, of course, you don't have to butterfly. You just rinse them off in cold water, pat them dry, marinate, and grill. It's my understanding that the butterfly version is considered higher quality than the cross-cut version. I have two packs of short ribs that need to be butterflied, so you need a good sharp knife to do this. Before I get started with that, let me show you this rolling knife sharpener that I received from Cook and Cranny. Now, I agreed to test this out and give it a review, and I just wanted to show it to you because of how easy it is, so I'll do a complete review of this on another video, but this setup is ingenious. This sharpener has two main parts. It's got the magnetic base that holds your knife while sharpening at a 20 degree angle for German and Western knives. Or you can flip it over and use a 15 degree angle for specialty knives. And that group would include the Japanese knives that have a high carbon content. This base solves a lot of problems when it comes to maintaining that angle because it's always right. The second part is the sharpener on a roller. It's got the diamond side and it's got the helix side for honing. Attach your knife to the correct angle on the magnetic holder and then sharpen with the diamond disc by rolling against the blade until sharp. Then you want to hone it by giving it a few strokes with the stainless steel helix disc. Now turn the knife around and repeat. Now this is so easy, you should probably consider buying one of these. You can find this sharpener on cookingcranny.co or on amazon.com. Now let's make that cobby. Open up those short ribs and pat them dry with paper towels. The first thing we need to do is remove that membrane. Now it's right next to the bone and we're gonna use a combination of cutting it off with our knife and maybe pulling on it if we have to, but you gotta get it off. It's just not much fun to eat it. And sometimes on the meat side of the ribs, there's also some really thick silver skin. So if you've got that situation, then we're gonna cut it off on that side too. A lot of people recommend using two chopsticks as a means to prevent cutting through the ribs. Most experienced people will set the chopsticks aside after they make the first cut, but I'm using two wooden spoons in place of chopsticks, and I've discovered since I'm inexperienced at doing this that I prefer to use the spoons for all my cuts. Now, another thing that I did not do is to use semi-frozen ribs, but this would make the butterfly so much easier, and I'll definitely do it that way the next time. Now, did I mention my inexperience? But even if you cut through the butterfly, all is not lost. It will still be Colby. You're just gonna lose some style points, but do the best you can. Now, having the same thickness consistency is always considered an advantage for even cooking. But a lot of people like to score these on both sides of the butterfly. It's a nice touch, but it's not considered essential because that marinade is just so darn effective. When all the short ribs are butterflied, then it's time for the marinade. And of course, traditional Kalbi is made from scratch marinade. Today, we're using this Korean barbecue original sauce, and it's made as a Kalbi marinade. Just pour some into a suitable container and then dip your Kalbi butterflies into the marinade. You need to roll them up and place them into a Ziploc bag or other suitable container. And this is an excellent marinade and it's available from Amazon.com. But if you're the more adventurous type, there's many different recipes available for you to make your own marinade. Now this is going in the fridge overnight. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare some chicken breast, Kalbi style. You want to open them up and pat them dry. Boneless chicken breasts would be what you want, but since mine have bones, I need to debone them. Now the chicken breast needs to be thin, so you need to pound them out, but I'm going to try a different technique using a knife. With this, we're going to flatten the breast by sawing gently with your knife down and to the right. Then you turn it and you do once again down and to the right. Mine aren't perfect, but they're definitely acceptable, and practice would make perfect using that technique. Otherwise, just use a pot or a pan and pound them out. Now, you can score both sides if that's your preference. Once they're flattened out, then into the marinade and then into the Ziploc bag. Now, I'm using the remaining marinade on the chicken and it's going into the fridge in this Ziploc bag overnight. 
Now come back the next day to grill up the colby. Keep in mind that this marinade definitely tenderizes and you can overdo it. Heat up that grill and how do we want it? We want it hot, hot, hot. Now some people like to cook only a minute per side, others say to get a lot of char, so you're gonna have to go a lot longer to do that. But guys, it all comes down to personal preference. You should always grill it the way you like it. Don't ever let anybody else tell you what you like or what you don't like. Now really and truly, I think this would be hard to mess up because it's gonna be good either way you do it. But I'm grilling the beef first, following that up with chicken, and grill as long as it takes to get it your way. When I cooked the ribs, I just mainly did it using a visual, but with the chicken, I used an instant thermometer to make sure I got that 165 degree Fahrenheit, which is the recommended USDA temperature for chicken breast. Your mileage may vary. Guys, this copy tasted fantastic. It's juicy and tender. Now, this is a great change of pace if you want to try something different that's sure to be a hit with your friends and family. Now, just so you know, I found it a Cobby style chicken breast. It's absolutely amazing. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>